<laughs> well, all I can say is if you guys clicked on this video, and this is mainly for the people that said there will never ever be an L5P delete. As you guys know, or if you have not known, there was some update from PPEI. You guys asked me, uh, I don't know, I wanna say a couple months ago, I told you and I updated you saying there is no delete for the L5P. Now, I wanna make this clear because today I probably got, I don't know, once Corey released this, I don't know how many DMs I got on this L5P delete matter. Before I tell you guys about the L5P delete, there's one thing I gotta show you. Bam! The RTs have came in, folks. Now, I must say, these tires are extremely quiet, perform good, handle good. Um, my main thing why I like them is because they make zero noise. Now. I don't know if some of you guys have them on your other trucks and you hear noise, but in this truck, I hear no noise. These things have about 40 miles on them now. I just got them. And one thing I have noticed with these is they're a little wider, which is weird because the empties that are in the back over there, they're both 13 and a half. But for some reason, this from here to here was 13 and a half. On the empties, it was 13. So this, I have noticed on this tire is a true 13 and a half inch wide tire. Now for the empties that you guys are gonna be asking me out, they are already sold. Um, I apologize, but somebody has already grabbed them. They will be gone tomorrow. And he gave me a fairly good price where, you know, I didn't really lose. I lost, obviously, you're not gonna win, but I didn't lose as much. And also we have more news. My baby is leaving. Yes, guys, she, is going bye-bye tomorrow morning. No, not the Duramac. What are you, crazy? I'm not getting rid of her. The Razor. The Razor is leaving. I have to, pretty much right now, strip this thing, take the light bars out, um, take the uh, D2s off or DSSs off, take the stereo out. I've got to take the race radio out. I got to pretty much strip this thing down to stock. Um, I am getting something new stay tuned you guys will see it is i don't know you guys some of you guys might know already but uh if you guys watch some of my desert videos i was comparing a couple cars and i'm not gonna give you guys too much info but stay tuned you will see uh the next video is going to be the new toy that we're going to go pick up but this will be the last time that you guys see old panda over here or some of you guys call it cookies and cream this will be the last time you see her because, well, she's gonna be uh, gone. I'm gonna miss her. And hopefully, uh, well, the next owner will have fun and, and treat her right. Let's talk about pretty much why you guys clicked on this video and, you know, why I'm interested too. So, as you guys know, Corey has released something saying that a tuner pretty much has came out, a delete has came out uh, for the L5P. And for all you guys that said it's never gonna happen, well, all I gotta say is ha ha ha, I told you guys eventually it's gonna happen. And you know what, for you guys that, I don't know, maybe wish it didn't happen, I'm glad it happened. I mean, I, I can't wait to see one of these things, you know, tuned and deleted. But I can't get any, you know, exhaust, no parts are, are I guess, FlowPro, according to a vendor that I spoke with, Flow Pro should have the exhaust ready in about a month. But another problem is they're charging, I believe it's four to $5,000 for a delete on an L5P. And, and you know, the EFI Live, the Flash, the Tune, everything. Um, I think that's kind of ridiculous right now. It's just way too much. But I think if you guys wait a little bit, you'll notice it's gonna drop dramatically. But I just wanna make it clear also I don't have any parts for an L5P. I cannot delete your L5P. Uh, you know, there's, for, for even people in Arizona, he said, they're not going to even be able to purchase nor get anything for at least a month. So I'll update you guys with another video in a month to see what I can get and if I can get anything for you guys. But I mean, as of right now, we do know that there are tunes for it. 
but the exhaust is not ready yet. And I also heard a, from another vendor that I spoke with that it is going to be hell. Uh, I don't know why, but it's going to be hell to pretty much go through the process. And you know, I pretty much asked him, well, what do you mean? And he said, well, it's not going to be like the EasyLink or the AutoCAD where you plug in, you follow the steps and you're done. I said, well, how's it gonna be? And he said, well, I can't really answer that yet, but it is not going to be anything like, you know, as easy it is as the EasyLink uh, or as easy it is as the AutoCAD where you just plug into the OBD2. Uh, I don't know, like I said, I don't know the steps, I don't know the process. I have not deleted one yet, but I just wanna update you guys to let you know that the delete is coming. It's very, very, very close. The tunes are out, it's extremely expensive. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this. I'm curious to know, is there anybody out there that's willing to drop, I think he said, it was, say he told me $4,000 for tunes. And mind yourself, that's no exhaust. Now I'm not saying the exhaust is expensive, but you're dropping four grand on pretty much a non-complete delete, I, I should say, is everything but an exhaust, which all you're getting is pretty much you know, EFI Live, the AutoCal, uh, you're not getting a DSP-5 switch, you're just getting a single tune uh, as of now. So again, I don't know what's going to happen, you know, a week, two weeks, or a month from now, but according to the vendor, in a month from now, these L5Ps should be deleted. If I get one, I will post it right away for you guys because I am dying to see how, you know, how much power and pretty much what are the power gains and what it's gonna feel like because I drove the L5P and I mean I wasn't towing a heavy trailer but and I'm just comparing it to my LML I mean they're pretty damn slow well I don't want to say slow they're not slow they're they have good power they have good torque they're just nothing like a deleted LML and I, I'm not saying it, I put mine in 200 horsepower tune and and, and, uh, and try to compare it I had mine in the Eco 2. That's what I drive in the Eco 2. So it's just, it wasn't there. Also, a lot of you guys are asking me, Eddie, have you seen this from CNBC yet? Yes, I have. And I know you guys are worried about what's going to happen at PPEI. I don't know, um, you know, how Corey or how any tuning company um, get past stuff like this. So uh, CNBC just released this saying company penalized for disabling vehicles emissions controlled. Now, this is talking about the uh, Derive company. Uh, this is saying that the government says, so the company's in Florida, the Derive company, where is it? The Justice Department of Environmental Protection Agency say that Derive system of Stanford, Florida, that's where I have sold $363,000 of product that violated the Clean Air Act. In a civil settlement, drive or derive, however you say, must pay a $300,000 penalty and spend $6.25 million to fix the product. So they don't violate the law and blah, blah, and all, all the crap. And it goes on and on and on. And uh, if you guys know, they also sold the software under SCT and Bully Dog brands. So now, according here to this little article, it says, the government says handheld products known as tuners would override automaker programs. The software would stop catalytic converters, particulate filters, and other emissions control from working. You know, I, I don't know. I'm not going to say companies get away with it, but you guys shouldn't worry about Corey. I know you guys are asking me, you know, hey, is he still going to make tunes after this came out? I don't know. I cannot speak for Corey. I cannot speak for PPEI, but I know they pretty much got everything under control and... I'm sure he's got something, you know, in his back pocket or up his sleeves to cover him from this. Now, for all you guys that keep asking me, Eddie, how is your fuel mileage in your truck with it being, you know, re-geared? I have really never checked the fuel mileage period in the truck. Um, I just, I was never concerned about it. I didn't buy this truck for that, but I think I'm gonna do a video for you guys of the fuel mileage just because I get so many of you guys asking me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, and plus, oh, by the way, I'm gonna be doing it with these RTs. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I didn't do it with the mutters. I don't have the mutters anymore, but I'm gonna do it with the RTs for you guys with the 456 gears in it, and I will go fill the truck up. I'll reset my trip meter. Then the next fill up, we will divide the miles by gallons and see 
what it says and see how accurate that reading is that is in the GMC. If it really, you know, if it says 17.2, whatever, how close it is or if it's dead on. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching the video. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below about this L5P whole dilemma that everybody's waiting for and everybody's dying to see. And if you, if anybody out there has more information, leave down the comment. I'm curious to know too. I learn a lot from you guys and your comments. And I'm just curious to know, you know, what's going on. I, I get my info from a vendor where I buy a lot of diesel parts from and he knows Corey personally and he gets pretty much the ins and outs on what's going on in the latest and greatest update. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.